gentlemen, are you ready? It's Robot Fighting Time! In the Red Square, from Itatuba, Brazil, their flame throw reminds me of Nelly, because it's about to get hot in here. You're going to need a Band-Aid on your face, thanks to Black Dragon! Here we go, Black Dragon, coming off that beat down courtesy of Riptide. You know what? They look just fine. Give these kids a dunk and they'll take out the world. So, how do they advance to the round of 16, Kenny? Well, Ripperoni's armor is a mix of steel and plastic, so they're gonna hunt for the vulnerable spots with that cutting tooth egg beater drum. Can't take too many shots from the 70-pound pizza blade, though, or the Brazilians could go down for the count a second time. And the blue square from Cambridge, Massachusetts. Uh, yeah, hi. Can I get a large pizza? Half pepperoni, half 70 pound vertical spinner with 250 mile per hour tip speed? Yeah, thanks. It's pepperoni! It's pepperoni! Toss it though, taking names all season long. They certainly got that swag. They got the killer robot, and it looks like they're delivering a flywheel, Kenny. Fresh out of the oven, that flywheel tech has been a revelation, Chris. The ability to counteract the gyroscopic force of that 70-pound weapon and stay balanced has been the secret sauce to their success. Driver Fred Moore has been on fire, and they love their reach advantage in just about any fight. I believe that the weapons of Black Dragon could be tank, a lot of hits of Ripperoni. Our strategy is with our forks, uh, get behind him, deliver a good hit. I'll try to, to box rush them, because I think that the weapon will not spin very fast. So I'll try to win this fight using the, the control. Black Dragon does not die easily. They're a really durable bot, and they're also really low. Because we used all of our weight for the weapon and the flywheel, we have very limited armor configurations. And as we found out in our match against Gruff, our lightest wedges are just, they don't work. They're bad. So we have to go with our medium and our heavy wedges in order to be able to drive and compete. We want to feed them into our right side where the weapon is totally exposed. We armored the front left side, but we're going to try to keep that away from them and just keep the weapon pointed towards them and maybe get a top attack. Dragon, Ripperoni, the chase for the giant nut continues. Let's go. Let the bot battle begin. Black Dragon with a box rush. Nice drive by oh. Fred Moore. Early hit. Nasty shot there. And we have an inverted Black oh. Dragon, and now we have a flying Black Dragon or or duck or whatever the hell that thing is today. Oh boy, Ripperoni just taking over here, Chris. I mean, just lining it up in the middle and going weapon to weapon with that oh. egg beater. Look at the size difference between these weapons. Who needs forks when you have that type of reach advantage? Ripperoni does. Oh, oh, Black Dragon continues to attack. Black Dragon again inverted. Oh! Get towards the center. Get into the center of the box. Dude. Black Dragon starting to come back, but they are inverted. Oh. Not where they want to be. Oh, the hundred pound Dishing out some pain to Black Dragon. Ripperoni so stable to oh. the ground, Chris. It's amazing. It really? Whoa! Whoa! Uh -oh. Whoa! Huge shot that sets Black Dragon flat across the box. But the Brazilians are right back in there for more. And they are right side up now, Chris. Black Dragon oh. is as tough as they come. Ripperoni's oh. gonna have to rip this box heart out if they want to stop it. Black Dragon in pursuit. Whoa! Hey now. Gyroscopic dance by Ripperoni. Black Dragon has the pin. Oh, oh man, nice shot. 
Black Dragon's playing the aggressor, but Chris, their weapon is toast. Oh! Yeah, that's massive trouble. The Brazilians are gonna have to break Ripperoni's weapon if they want to even things up in the damage category now. You can hear the crowd chanting, pizza, pizza! Oh, nice shot by Black Dragon! Ripperoni just has to hang on here. Black Dragon's all over him. Big counter shot for Ripperoni. Ripperoni still has the lead. They may oh. want to think about playing a little keep away. Whoa. Oh, Black oh, Dragon fire. with the on fire. I mean, that came out of nowhere, but we have seen this robot last for several minutes on fire. That is correct, Black Dragon. Oh. <laughs> They've been on fire before. They continue to attack. Under a minute remaining. It is Ripperoni now having mobility issues. Can they make it to the closing bell? Oh, big impact. This is going to be a race to the finish. Oh. Ripperoni's starting to slow down here, Chris. There's no question about it. Stuck on oh the upper deck. Goodness. They might not be able to move. All they have to do is make it to the 10 second mark, but they've got to do some sort of movement. What an upset this would be! The durability of Black Dragon! The countdown has started! Oh! They can't move! Red Lord doing everything he can to resurrect the robot! Can he make it to the closing bell? They cannot! Black Dragon has done it! With just three seconds to go, Ripperoni is counted out! Oh, my God.